talk about it. You you spoke to Vaz last week, AJ. One of the one of the things that came up with his contract says they're in the process of discussing the new contract. Obviously, he's out contract in the summer has been linked with Celtic previously, um, but he confirmed that he wants to stay at Town. How do you see this? Because we've got now we've got Christian Walton, who was what, well probably the best keeper in League One last season, the unquestioned number one going into this season. Were it not for that injury, Vaz would not be playing. Um, and now you've got Vaz, who's had this unbelievable season. Brings different things to the table, better with the ball at feet, unbelievably athletic shot stopper. How do you see this scenario playing out? Because you can't, can you carry two of them? You've got two potential, I mean, obviously it depends where they are, but two potential number one keepers there. It's a very tricky balance to find this because there are so many different things that could play a part in this. If Ipswich Town are a Premier League team at the end of the season, does that play a part? I mean, you could be looking at big name keepers to come in. What happens with Baz then? What happens with Christian Walton? And if they don't, regardless, the important thing is that Christian Walton needs to play football. He's not played regular football in a year now. I know it's slightly different for goalkeepers where they're maybe not moving quite as much and, and the, the fitness aspect, while important, isn't as important as someone like Leif Davis who's spending 90 minutes running up and down like a... He's got Duracell batteries in him, so it's a slightly different one in that perspective. But he'll, he's going to want to play, and he's going to know his value as well. So it's going to be a difficult position for him to get his way back into the team, pretty much. We know that because Vaz has been, I'd say, in my eyes, one of the top three goalkeepers in the division this season. He's going to be in for a shout player of the year. Uh, well, obviously, we know that Sam Morsey's won that, but from the fans' perspective, it's so you are making a top three. I think he'd be mm. in many people's top threes for the player of the year. Um, and he's definitely feeling the love at, at Ipswich. That so makes sense for him to, to stay here. There's obviously those kind of thoughts, you know, do you want to go to Celtic? He's always back up there. Are there other options there? I think it makes sense for him. Mm, I think we may have lost AJ again. Oh, well. Uh, I was going to come to you anyway, Rossi. Uh, you got any thoughts on this Hagley Walton debate? Because clearly that's going to be something we're talking about over the summer. No, I, I think at the moment Vaz is the is the man, um, and he's stepped up the championship fantastically. And um, some of the saves he's made, I don't think Walton would be making. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting one in the summer um, because yeah, Walton probably won't be wanting to play. <laughs> Oh, his second fiddle once again, definitely mm. at his age. Obviously, Vaz is a bit older than Walton. He's 32 or 33, Vaz. So, Ancient. Yeah, yeah. But got, I'm a different scenario with goalkeepers. They can go until whenever because they're just yeah. in goal. But, um, but yeah, an interesting situation to have. But uh, yeah, fair play to Vaz. And what a lovely man as well he is. What a lovely man. He's a very, very, very handsome man as well, I have to say. He's got nice, you know, nice little bone structure, nice hair and everything. Yeah, good, good bloke. And that's important. Uh, I can't see just to just to put a yeah. cap on this. I can't see any way that Christian Walton stays on to be a, a number two goalkeeper for Ipswich Town again. He's out of contract this summer. Ipswich have that one year extension option in their favour, which obviously they'll take to protect him for, as an asset financially. Um, and then I think it will be about extracting sort of max, maximum value for him. Um, Yes, you could put your foot down and say, you know, you stay, you see out your contract, um, we want to keep you, but he'll be one of the higher earners, I, I would have thought. And do you want your backup goalkeeper within the constraints of FFP kind of taking up that chunk of your wage? No. Do you want a player that's not particularly happy behind the scenes? No. Um Obviously, it's always difficult when you go out to recruit a number two because mm. that, that's a hard sell, um, but they'll... They'll, they'll find the right person, I, I would have thought. Um, that's that's the way I see this panning out. And yeah, it's it's felt for a long time like Vaz is going to sign a contract. I think it's just a case of thrashing that out. But uh, yeah, he's really happy here. And, and um, yeah, I think he'll stay. I think Walton will know his value as well. I don't know if this was mentioned while my Wi-Fi died in the storm, but um, he's someone that was linked with Luton last summer. He'll know that, I mean, there were Premier League clubs that were having that little look at him and I, I'd imagine that there was probably something in that. So he'll know that he'll probably have interest, I'd say, at championship level um, for clubs looking to make him a first choice. And that just makes total sense, I think, from, from his perspective to try and get things back on track after this injury, knowing that if he shows what he's capable of and 
shows what he's been doing for the last few years, he can get right back to that point where he's been at the Premier League clubs again.